The tourist in the flesh. You're a sneaky fucker, huh? Not usually. But for you, I make an exception. I am Gerrick. You haven't given me much thought, but I have been thinking a lot about you. You're not as I expected. Is that right? What did you expect? A human wrecking ball. I'd go with the force of nature. 
But that might be overdoing it. No one told me you had a sense of humor. So you've heard a lot about me, but I don't know anything about you. I persuaded the Pawn King to set this up. I suspected you wouldn't meet with me otherwise. You knew my wife, May. And I need to speak with you about her. May? Never heard of her. Amusing. The ability of some people to deny the truth so easily. To create their own silly little stories. Perhaps you have heard the tales about me. But I am mad. A cannibal. <laughs> the tower convinced me I was executed for my supposed crimes. A burning pile of lies. The perpetrators, all of them, will pay. And their numbers are dwindling. Rapidly. You were the last to see May alive. You know her fate. Last I saw, she was alive. Alive? You expect me to believe that? Look, if she's dead, I'm sorry. I had nothing to do with it. Lies exactly as I suspected. But the truth no longer matters. My decision has been made. You will face retribution. I told you it wasn't me. But if you're looking for a fight, then let's cut to the chase. I'm grateful we had the chance to speak, tourist. To put a face to a name. Our paths will cross again. That shiver you feel will be my breath on your neck. That knot in your stomach, my footsteps drawing near. That screaming nightmare the sound of my voice. You will know the dread you have wrought upon my family. And then, when I have seen enough of your suffering, you will face the truth of your depravity. For now, I will let you live. But only for as long as it amuses me.